What's up guys, it's me, Robo, and I created a jump pad elevator. <laughs> it's pretty sick. I was kind of thinking, like, I forgot that you can place the uh, jump pads on walls and stuff and that you can angle them. I was like, man, I wish I could make, like, a jump pad system where I could just place one on the bottom and it would, like, shoot me up to the next one and the next one, but I kept hitting the floor and it would never get me up to the next floor. I completely forgot you could place them on the wall. I thought that was a thing. <laughs> but man, that's so much easier than, you know, having like a wall and having a ton of different hyper tubes to go up to each floor. Because what you can kind of do is you can place another like section basically here. So move these uh, jump pads back one and then have a middle wall. And then that could be the wall that you land on to go into a floor. Basically, or if you have a super tall factory kind of like mine, then you could do this two wide method, which you go faster in the two wide. You go slow, way slower on when it's three wide, but you can land on different floors if you wanted to. So yeah, let me kind of show you guys like how you make this. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You have two walls with two tiles in between, and every other tile is where you place the jump at. So kind of what you want to do is you can have the first one on the ground i think you can have the first one on the wall but i haven't really tested that yet so i just place it on the ground just to be safe <laughs> and you kind of want this one to just angle at the center of the second wall and then you line up the second one in the center of that one and you kind of want to get uh this one to be in the middle of the third wall which you know i don't have the third wall but like yeah, basically in the center of that, and you just keep going back and forth, skipping a wall. And how that works. And, uh, also, we can do two to, like, so I had the, uh, cord, like, the wire and stuff, like, here. But it didn't look good, because it was, like, spiraling out, and then you can't really see. So I put it, like, this across up the wall. So it's nice and hidden. And then it exits out the back right there. So there's no wires or anything in the way. That's super clean design. Yeah, let me use it for you guys. The first thing, just you want to jump and aim for the center of the first pad. And then it'll carry you the rest of the way. Not the fastest thing. <laughs> But you can make this go faster. It's just I don't have like the perfect like set yet to make it go faster. Because you have to angle these things perfectly to where it's like the minimum amount of time. And I don't have that like completely down yet. I have it down like on the last ones. I go pretty quick. But I go kind of slow on these first ones. That's just because it's kind of angled up too much. So you spend too much time floating, like right there. Sometimes it goes fast. But on those long ones, you see, where I'm just kind of floating there, that's where it sucks. But then you gain speed kind of towards the top. I don't know, it's weird. But I'm going to keep testing with it. See if I can make this thing fast, because I know you can make this thing go super, super quick. At least I feel like you can. I know you can also place them, like, in a hallway, so I'm going to work on that as well. You can place them, like, down on the walls of a hallway, and it'll shoot you to the uh, end that you really have them walk. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to try and test that, too. <laughs> but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Bye.